Unboxing the Shuttle XH61V. Top, front, bottom, rear, side, side. Quick guide, English, Espanol, Quick guide, Chinese, Quick guide, French, Japanese, quick guide, Korean, German. Power brick, assembly screws, power cord, thermal paste, CPU protector, driver disc. Size comparison. Opening the case. Remove two thumb screws. Slide the top back, lift out. Remove hard drive tray. Remove optical drive tray. Remove ICE module.
Installing the CPU. First, undo the wiring harness and move it out of the way. Now, release the CPU lid and remove plastic protective layer. Orient the CPU, in this case an Intel Core i3-3225, and insert it carefully into the base. Close the metal load plate and bring the retention lever back down into the locked position. Next, install a rice grain sized dollop of thermal paste to the center of the CPU. Now, reinstall the ICE unit. Install the RAM. In this case, 8 gigabytes of Transcend DDR3 1333. Note, it's an SO DIM. This is notebook RAM. The second four gigabyte module. Snapped into place. Mount the optical drive. In this case, a generic Blu-ray drive, slimline, branded Hewlett Packard, made by Pioneer. Fits into the rack. And is secured with four extremely small screws.
completed installation in the tray of the Blu-ray drive. Install the hard drive in the hard drive tray. In this case, a crucial M4 64 gigabyte SSD. The drive is held in place with four of the provided screws. completed installation. Installing the optical drive into the case. First, connect the slimline SATA cable to the drive. Slide the drive back into position. and reattach the two screws. Installing the hard drive. First, connect the SATA cable then the SATA power cable and place the tray back in position. Now reattach the screws Everything's tight. Place the top of the case back in position. Slide into place. Reinstall the thumb screws. And there you have it, a completed XH61V HTPC.